whereas this real stuff will dissolve into a creamy, beautiful, velvety, delicious, heavenly. Yeah, so the cheese you use is very important. I never use American cheese, so I don't know what to say. I've seen orange cheddar, <laughs> which I will never use. I will use only white cheddar, I'm sorry. Do yourself a favor, if you make this recipe and you have some of this cheese around, next time you make or buy pizza, before serving it, just dust the top, top of your pizza. pizza. Oh yeah, man, you know how to cook, man. Like this, this and it just adds that unbelievable. Hey guys, this dude can cook. And then keep adding your cheese in little by little in about three to four stages. And you'll see here the combination of pasta water, butter, and cheese is gonna make the most creamy looking sauce that doesn't Amazing. have any cream in it. No cream, bro. Creamy pasta without cream. That's what I love to say. Wow. No cream carbonara. Today we are reacting to that dude who can cook. I used to watch this guy on TikTok, that's how I got familiar with him, and he did some pretty, pretty good recipes. Today he's gonna show us how to make an original Alfredo. Let's see if he likes it. You know, the beauty of Italian pastas is that they usually have really simple ingredients. That's what we all love about it. Make sure the ingredients give you the best. Make sure you use the ingredients right. Make sure you balance your ingredients. That's what it's all about. And of course using nice ingredients. If you can use a tomato from your garden, it's a lot better than a tomato from the supermarket. It's really the technique behind making the pasta that is everything. A bunch of little de That's right, that's right. It is the technique, it's how you do it. If you put wine in a tomato sauce, <laughs> it's bad. Just an example. That's a small mistake that lots of people make. Details make everything better. Details adding up to make something truly unforgettable. We are making. Yes, well done. I like this guy. See, he's very passionate and it's great. Making the one and only fettuccine Alfredo. He must love this pasta. Time to waste, my friends. Now let's go. Oh, that was aggressive. You're right. Okay, let's discuss probably the most important part of this entire recipe. I like this. Tell me. And that is the cheese. Yeah. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. You tried very hard. Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah, that's what they use for Alfredo. Even though it, Alfredo was created in Rome, they don't use pecorino, which is very sad for me. Uh, I'm not trying to sound like an Italian, and at the same time, I don't want to offend them by saying. Yeah, thank you. Wrong. It's it's a whole thing. I would label. This guy's honest. He's genuine. He's passionate. Bravo. Well, this the king of cheese. Literally, he is the king of cheese. Actually, this is the most used and loved cheese around the world. I'm not saying this. It is a fact. For many, many years, Parmigiano it is. And it's also the one that probably takes more time to produce, artisan producers, it's like really amazing. Really one of my favorite cheeses in the whole world, if not. It's nice, you've tried to get a nice old Parmigiano, cut it into pieces, whatever you want to cut it, and then what you do is you, you drizzle some honey on top, oh, it's a beautiful sweet and uh, savory flavor, so sweet and salty, it's beautiful. You can put some uh, jam, any jam you like. I personally like red wine jam. Have you ever tried it? I'm sure you can get it from any winery around the world. It's so nice. Straight up my favorite. And so I know for a fact the biggest thing people get wrong when making this recipe is buying the American knockoff versions because they clump up when you try to finish your- Hmm, I never use it, so thank you for saying this. Pasta. Whereas this real stuff will dissolve into a creamy, beautiful, velvety, delicious, heavenly- yeah, so the cheese you use is very important. I never use American cheese, so I don't know what to say. I've seen orange cheddar, <laughs> which I will never use. I will use only white cheddar, I'm sorry. Only plate of pasta. There's a big difference there. You know, when you're buying it, just make sure it's from Italy and it's called Parmigiano Reggiano and not. Yeah, good pronunciation this time. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmesan. That is probably not what you want, right? And another thing is I buy this at Costco because it is extremely expensive buying it from regular supermarkets. So Costco is uh, good, huh? So you, you do save money at Costco. You know, I don't have Costco where I live. Do when I go to Costco and see what they do and learn more about their products and what they sell. But Costco, which I'll tell you what is a godsend these days, sells this amazing cheese for a really, really great price. So that's it. Make sure you get the right cheese and it's gonna work out. So I'm just making a half pound of this fettuccine Alfredo today and I'm doing four ounces of cheese. Next time you count the cheese, remove the skin because the skin is actually heavy. Remove it and then you measure it again. Per half pound of pasta. I like it pretty cheesy. You could definitely get away, yeah. away with doing a little bit less. And so for my homies across the pond, we are looking at 134 grams per 
Okay, great. For half pound of pasta. Now what we need to do is shred it up really fine. This is another important step in making Important, super important, super important. And to be honest, my friend, I won't use this. This is great, I'll, I use this grater. It's amazing American grater. I will probably, even though it's hard to say, like blend it, it has to be finally, finally grated. You can blend it to get it finally grated, or you need to use a, a proper Parmigiano grater, which it grates it super fine. And this is the same for pecorino, if you make cacio paper. Making sure that it doesn't clump up on you when you finish it. And if you don't have a fine cheese grater or microplane like this, just use, the, use finest the finest setting, setting of, a of a box grater, grater which, most which most people, people have. have and that will... That's what you need to use. It's also awesome. work. So here, so we, here go. we go. Shred, Shred away. away. I, just I just love, love this so much. Up. Shredding this. This one has uh, tiny little strings. It's not really super fine, like round. It's like little, little strings. And can affect it. I'm sure your recipe was gonna be fantastic, but I'm worried if you're gonna make ketchup paper carbonara, it can affect it. Cheese on top of food is like a layer of unbelievable salty umami flavor. It's like salt, but better. That's how I look. Yeah, and you don't need salt. When you use parmigiano, when you use lots of pecorino, you don't need salt. Less salt, better for you. Do yourself a favor, if you make this recipe and you have some of this cheese around, next time you make or buy pizza, before serving it, just dust the top, top of your pizza. Ah, like oh, yeah, man, you know how to cook, man. Like this, this and it just adds that unbelievable. Hey guys, this dude can cook. Unbelievable flavor to your pizza. I really love doing that. Now, of course, we need butter, so I'm gonna start weighing. Yeah, it does have butter. The Alfredo is all about butter. There's no cream. The cream is made by the Parmigiano mixed with butter. Out my unsalted butter here. And for this half pound, I'm glad you use unsalted butter. I just want to do a little over three ounces. Perfect. Which is 96 grams, but let's call it an even 100. Say, when I do this, to be honest, I don't really measure. Of course, you need to give people a measurement, but just be generous. If you were 150 grams, it's fine too, you know? We're not really looking at the cholesterol level here. That just sounds better. Now, pasta wise, of course, we have fettuccine here, and I'm just using dried pasta again, just make sure. Okay, yeah, great. Look, fresh pasta is different because absorb the sauce more and it's smoother, it's different, but you can find some good quality dry pasta that can do the same job. And to me, this color of this pasta is telling me it's artisan dry pasta. From Italy, most of those brands are pretty good. Regular old dried pasta. Most of the brands from Italy, especially the artisan ones, are amazing. I only trust Italian pasta brands for dry pasta. Fresh pasta, you can make locally wherever you live, you know, egg pasta. But dry pasta, which is on only durum wheat and water, must come from Italy. I haven't tried any pasta brands made outside of Italy that I like. Pasta, that's all you need. Now here I have some boiling water. And I'm just adding about two teaspoons of sea salt right here. I don't want it to be too salty because remember the Parmesan is all salt, right? So we just want, That's right. want a lightly salted water. And let's drop our pasta straight in. Normally I put one tablespoon of sea salt, you know, rock salt. You know, you don't really eat or drink the pasta water, so. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do a full pound of pasta here, absolutely no problem. Yeah, do that, come on, be generous. In the description, I'm gonna put a recipe for a full pound and also a recipe for, for half. I just like doing a half because it makes the next step a lot easier, and I feel like I can get a better sauce when I do a half. half. But also a pound will work fine too. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, when you're not an expert, start with a smaller batch. It's a lot easier to manage, to control, you know, the emotion and, you know, the creaminess of the pasta. When you become an expert, you can cook more pasta. When the pasta's been cooking for around eight minutes is when I start to test it, just by biting it. And so we want it to have a very little small white sliver when you bite into it. No, yeah, so that sounds not al dente. So when you say al dente, I just want to make this clear. It's like to the tooth. It's like, it's not raw. It's to the tooth. It's like... I feel it, I bite it, okay? Sometimes pasta packets tell you, 10 minutes al dente, 11 minutes normal, put it that way. Al dente doesn't mean raw, al dente means to the bite. The extra minute will make it soft as you like it. If you do 12, 13, 14 minutes, it's too much. Then it becomes mashy, and you lose all the beautiful, powerful, the pasta loses everything, okay? So al dente is not raw, just remember that. It's like if you're eating like a lolly, mince. Let's say you have a mentos, which is soft, and then you have a, a mint, like a bit harder, okay? With the mental inside. So you buy it, the hard one, and then you get the creamy mint, you know, the eucalyptus, whatever it is inside. Or you have the mentos, which is soft, easy to buy it, and then you get the other surprise inside the mentos. Does it make sense? It, meaning we want to cook it till al dente and then finish it in the pan with the butter and the cheese. So this is almost... Right, okay, so yeah, if you finish it in the pan, you need water. That's not really what you want to do. 
with Alfredo. So we'll, we'll watch, we'll see what you're gonna do. And that's why in, in Rome, at the Alfredo a restaurant, they use fresh pasta. Cooks in about three minutes. It's nice, it's soft, it's tender, and absorb the sauce very well. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put pasta water? It's about ready. And it's at this point we wanna turn on another pan, just a little over medium heat here, and we'll drop our butter in there. And okay. just melting all that up. Now that butter is just about melted. And at this point, my pasta has been cooking for nine minutes. It's just at that nice al dente stage. And so keep your pasta water there. You do not want to discard it. So don't strain it. Okay. I just use some tongs here. Bravo. Just take the pasta over like that. Plus you want the water in here. So that's all good. Now. Amazing, amazing. Look how beautiful it's mixing it. You don't really need water, okay? So you don't need cook it al dente or cook it the extra minute. You don't need any pasta water. You just need parmigiano. Maybe a touch of pasta water, but not enough to cook the pasta. We're gonna continue cooking the pasta right in here. Should be done in about another two minutes. And what I'll, what I'll okay. do here, when all that water is evaporated, we add some more pasta water. Okay, see, I never made it with dry pasta, so I guess uh, you have to do it. You have to do it because it's using dry pasta, so let's see how it turns out. I've never done it before, water. so I guess I'm gonna try next time using dry pasta. Maintain that liquid in the pan and keep cooking it like this. And now, little by little, we just start adding in the cheese, right? Where it's important that now the cooktop is off, the stove is off, and the, the pan must be hot, but the fire or whatever induction must be off. So the heat from the pasta, the butter, the pan will melt the Parmigiano Reggiano and turn into cream. Right? Give it a good mix. And you just don't want it to dry out too much. That's what you need to remember. So just keep adding little. You don't want lumps of cheese. Bits of pasta water as necessary. And then keep adding your cheese in little by little in about three to four stages. And you'll see here the combination of pasta water, butter, and cheese is going to make the most creamy looking sauce that doesn't Amazing. have any cream in it. No cream. Bravo. Creamy pasta without cream. That's what I love to say. No cream in carbonara. That's the beauty of this pasta is the simple ingredients. Here we go, last little bit of cheese. Yeah, nice generous amount of parmigiano. Cheese, working it in. And there's just very little clumpage going on here. This is awesome. Creamy, delicious, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. and this is the simplicity that is best, you know? It's beautiful. Why, why do you need to put chicken in there? Why do you need puzzle in there? Why do you need anything else? Why do you need cream? Stop making Alfredo the wrong way. Beautiful. And so that's it, two, three minutes in the pan. And your fettuccine Alfredo is done, my friend. And bellissimo, my friend, bro. Now just look at the creaminess on some yeah. of this. Oh my gosh. See that creaminess, you pour first, like it looks runny. No. When you mix the pasta, when you eat it, it becomes thicker, more dense. And when you have it, the pasta, the pasta will be oh, creamy. Your mouth will be very creamy. I believe, I might be wrong, I haven't tried the dry pasta yet, because Alfredo is not really authentic Italian, you know? It's more popular in USA. Even though a restaurant in Rome invented it, we don't really eat pasta alfredo in Italy. So I don't have much experience, okay? But I've always used fresh pasta. And the fresh pasta has a different look, texture, and, and when you mix it with the cream. The dry pasta I eat uh, every day, I eat it all the time. So I might give it a try. Maybe you do need more cheese. Maybe it's better. I haven't tried with dry pasta, to be honest. So I eat dry pasta all the time, you know? So maybe I like it more. Maybe you like it more too, I don't know. Let's try it out. Maybe you do need more cheese. Maybe you do need more pasta water. But this dude who can cook, just show me this. So, so thank you for introducing me to uh, Alfredo pasta made with dry pasta. This is what I'm talking about, my friends. And now we just finish off with- Yeah, my God, this guy is generous. See what else I want to say? Generosity when you cook. Generosity. Be generous. Close your eyes and be generous. Just put more. Don't look. Be generous, Mr. Spade. A little more Parmesan cheese. See, one of the things I don't enjoy, but I have to do it, is to give you measurements when I make a recipe. All you have to use 200 grams of this, five olives, six of these, five, nah, just be generous. Put more or less, whatever you want, but just, just be generous. If you use more cherry tomatoes, it's fine. If you use more guanciale, it's fine. If you use more mushrooms, it's fine. If you use more cheese, great. And we are ready to eat, my friends. Well, this is exciting. No cream needed. No. People are gonna be freaking out, like, no, Alfredo has cream in it. No, please, you teach your friends this. You are the Vincenzo's Plate Ambassador in USA. Please do me a favor, okay? When you go out, tell everyone. You did a great video, you did a great job, my friend. You're a dude who can cook. So tell everyone, please. I need ambassadors around the world. Message me and I'm gonna send you a t-shirt. I'm gonna send you this t-shirt. So you can wear it when you go out. And remind everyone, no cream in carbonara. No cream in Alfredo sauce. This is the original recipe, guys. Not that I don't like Alfredo with cream. I think it's good. Oh, you like it. 
But what, do you like this more? Please tell me. It's really good, but this is all you really need. Yeah, okay. To me, it means that, yeah, you like this more. Mm. Yeah. What was that? Did you actually put vodka there? This is a mix of pasta vodka. What is it? You know, this is actually pretty amazing. It you smashed the fridge. What do you do to your fridge? What do you do, man? What do you do? At this point, mm-mm, mm-mm. If you guys make this, just get at me in the comments because you just cannot believe the flavor coming out of these simple ingredients. It's uh, really, really, really good. I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad. When you understand simplicity in life, that's when you will be happy in life. Simplicity is the key to happiness in life. So appreciate a simple Alfredo sauce and you will be happy for the rest of your life. Guaranteed. Don't always ask for more. Mm, mm, mm. Well, my friends, you know the drill. I really enjoyed this video. I've already subscribed to him, so there's no need for me to subscribe again. Please do subscribe to him. And I hope you write a comment because I've been watching this dude since COVID on TikTok. So it would be nice to connect with him. And when I do my American tour, he will be one of the guys I want to go and visit and do a video with. So guys, let, let me know what you think. Have you ever made Alfredo sauce with dry pasta? Let me know. Probably I'm going to try it tonight. I'm going to give it a go because now I do feel like Alfredo sauce. If you want to try my recipe, I have an Alfredo sauce. I did a series making American dishes the Italian way, uh, such as uh, chicken parmigiana with burrata on top. I made the spaghetti meatballs the right way with the mini meatballs. I made Alfredo sauce on the right way. And more and more and more dishes. Even chicken pasta I made for you <laughs> the Italian way. So go and check it out. Let me know what you think. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate Alfredo sauce.